For what purpose does the gentleman from uh, New York seek recognition? Without objection, gentleman is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today with one question for former President George W. Bush and the Republican leadership in Congress. Where are the jobs? With inspirational titles promising economic growth and job creation, the 2001 and 2003 tax cut packages fell well short of their names. From 2001 to 2007, the economy grew at its slowest pace since World War II. The Bush tax cuts failed to bring the growth they promised. And now my colleagues on the other side of the aisle want a no-question-asked extension of this failed policy. Not so fast. 66% of all growth between 2001 and 7 went to the top 1% of Americans. Did that trickle down to the rest of us? All you have to do is ask a family in Albany or Schenectady or Troy, New York, that I represent. My district will say it most certainly did not. In the debate over extending tax cuts, the choice is clear. I stand with the 98.1% of households of my district, the middle-income community, the working families. I hope my colleagues on both sides will review their own district numbers and do the same.